Tonight, people in West Seneca will meet as they decide whether to close a grade school. New at 6, why did enrollment fall by more than half at Potter's Road School? News 4's Joe Melillo has a story from the newsroom tonight. Joe? Enrollment numbers are down not only in West Seneca, but in Western New York. Some schools' leaders believe it's due to a few factors. Potter's Road Elementary School is closing in the West Seneca Central School District. Parents I spoke to say they're okay with that. West Seneca, we value the music program, but all my kids are in uh, chorus and orchestra and band and everything, and we need to keep the programs, and I think it's a good idea if the school closes, and that's where we're going to have to save money. We are uh, reorganizing ourselves to some degree and marshalling our resources to maintain high-quality programming and protect the integrity of the school system. Part of the reason for the reorganization is lower student population. In 1975, West Seneca Central School District had over 15,000 students. Now they're down to about 6,000. 78% uh, of um, the uh, people living in West Seneca do not have children in the school system. So we have an aging population in West Seneca. There are a lot of seniors. Another district that's been consolidating school buildings is the Kenton School District. Superintendent Don Mirren has been seeing lower enrollment numbers as well. I think um, families are having uh, less children. Um, I also think that uh, there's a little bit of a, a flight out of the area. Mm -hmm. But the exciting part is there's a revitalization going on downtown. There's a renewed sense of energy in the western New York area. And I'm actually uh, looking forward to anticipating uh, hopefully some growth in the next couple of years. West Seneca School Superintendent Dr. Dr. Mark Crawford believes the resolution to close the elementary school will pass tonight. The goal is to have the new plan in place before the 2015-16 school year. Joe Malillo, News 4 at 6.